this and this will be the surfaces that I'll be drilling the holes in. So that's another good reason to have that marked. Uh, I'll start with the big block, which gets the one and a quarter inch hole. I have a four jaw chuck mounted on the lathe and I'll insert the, the blank into it and tighten it down with the side that I'll be drilling with the marks facing out. Tighten it in, make sure it's centered and snug in there. And then this is my one and a quarter inch Forstner bit. I'll mount that in on the tailstock end. I have a Jacobs chuck and um, just like on a drill press and that will get mounted in there. Seated in the Morris paper. Bring the tailstock up till it's almost touching, but not quite. And lock it in place, but leave leave this uh, free so that you can turn it in and out. I'll set up my vacuum here. We have to find out first how deep we're going to drill it, and you'll want to go down to about a oh in half inch or five eighths of an inch from the bottom. So I'll measure that up. Five eighths is about here. So we'll want to drill about two and three quarters of an inch. Now we'll know how far to, to drill in. So I'll turn the light on. Now the, to drill with these big bits you need to run it at a fairly slow speed. So I'll, I'm going to set the speed for about 250 RPMs. 260 is close enough I guess. I can only go so far with the crank and then I have to loosen and move the tailstock in so I can go a little deeper. Very so often just back it out to get the chips out of there. Make it a little easier on the bit. That should be it right there. We can stop that. Pull this out. And so much for that side. That piece. That will come off. Knock this out of side of it. And hole number one is finished. I'll take the old bit out, the inch and a quarter. And put the small off the one inch bit in. And then we'll mount the small, the small piece, again with the marks on the outside, uh, so that the hole will, will match the hole. And we mount this in the same way we did the other one. We're touching. Now this one we're not going to go nearly as deep, so it's, it's not that critical. Um, I've used this bit for the same thing many times, so I already have a mark on there from the uh, where the bit makes its cut up to my mark is, is seven eighths of an inch and that's as deep as we as we want to go. The speed is still set so all we have to do is turn the lathe on and then the same process start cranking it in until it starts to cut. That's it right there. Pull that out of there and we're ready to go for the next step.